Hello everyone, welcome back to another Race to Green episode brought to you by UMG. My name is Matt, again, State of Kissed. I'm here sitting at home in my room doing absolutely nothing, like every one of you at home. So, we thought we'd give you guys some entertainment. Not only do we have the Race Esports battle, the all-star battle that it was last weekend, but also coming up again this weekend, you can check the description down below. But we've got Maximilian Gunther, who is absolutely insane in a car, extremely fast, and has, I think, Max, the best name in all of racing. Uh, it's a bit of a gun and a panther. It just sounds great. And you're looking pretty good. How are you? You got the BMW shirt on? You're in the middle of, an, uh, of a race season right now. Exactly. I mean, uh, I'm doing very, very good. Thanks. And uh, nice to have this conversation with you, even though it's a bit of a, of a special situation for, for all of us, sitting on my sofa now and doing this, this interview with you. But um, yeah, feeling good, uh, keeping myself in a good condition physically and uh, now as well on the scene. So um, yeah, uh, happy, happy days in advance. I, I, maybe we should just start there. I talked to Felix Rosenquist uh, as well for this series and he was saying it's a bit like an off season and he's obviously in a different position than you. He was just in St. Petersburg. Their race was canceled literally, I think, seven hours before the race. First, they canceled spectators, and then they announced no race at all. Um, and he was saying it was very it was very bizarre because everyone gets excited for the start of the year. Um, and all of a sudden, it's all off. And he felt like his whole body just kind of went back into that off-season mode. For you, it's different. You're in the middle of a season. You're sitting fourth, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in the championship, having an excellent year in Formula E. Um, and now you've got this break. Is How is that different? Surely, it's you just want to get back in the car. Definitely. I mean, it's, as you say, it's a very special situation. And of course, we're in the middle of the racing season. So fully in the rhythm, which is now interrupted. One of this, uh, oh, one, one reason more to go to go sim racing and to, to use this platform to, uh, yeah, to, to keep racing. Electric uh, from one kind of series to another then. Uh, this one's a little more electric in that it's also virtual. Um, you are younger, which means sim racing certainly been an option for you growing up. But how much have you actually done? What's what's your background in sim racing? I mean, in the last few years, I always used really entirely the the racing simulator of my of my team, and you know Formula Three, Formula Two, now Formula E. So I didn't use uh, a simulator at home, and uh, that's the reason why last week for me it was a very spontaneous call from BMW to to attend the race, which was really good fun. But as I said, really. Uh, yeah, a lot of improvisation uh, necessary, but uh, yeah, it all worked out. Now I've got a, a small simulator, similar to you, um, back home from, yeah. from BMW, which is, which is cool. But yeah, in the past, I think in my time in Formula 4, I had something similar like I'm using now uh, to prepare myself. But um, yeah, I was not at all into sim racing at all. So hmm, interesting. It's, uh, it's, it's a cool cool experience and um yeah so far i enjoy my my first taste of of that you, you say we've got a similar uh sim rig i'm also your teammate i i i drive a bmw i don't drive for bmw and i built the car myself but it's the same thing right so we can just pretend that's yeah, amazing cool nice <laughs> to, to call you my my new teammate awesome <laughs> no, officially <laughs> i i can't wait to show up at the next race then i'll be there i uh, i'll drive my first electric car then maybe uh <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> um but but just to go back to that i mean that's really cool because you've seen it from another side then you, do you see it as a tool i mean like you say you started to use it to prepare and now you, you can see the value in it certainly there's value right now for everyone at home who's stuck in an isolation chamber so to speak metaphorically or analytically and and we've got a great form to to keep sharp and entertain ourselves but it's kind of is a tool in some ways, isn't it? Of course. I mean, uh, if you if you can choose between not doing anything in terms of racing at the moment and uh, having this great opportunity to to keep yourself sharp, ready in the racing mo uh, mood and uh, mode, and um, yeah, just uh, yeah, in a good in a good good rhythm. Let's say it's it's great, and I really have to say I'm I'm enjoying it, and I'm sure the next few weeks will be. Really good fun, uh, great experience, new experience, and um, yeah, looking forward to. What's your What's your go to sim game? Uh, I racing, R Factor. What's, okay, what's your go to? It's it's it's, it's R Factor at the moment, you know, with the because the the race All Star uh, game, it's it's happening on R Factor, and that's why, yeah, at the moment I'm I'm using my time to to prepare in this one, but uh, I'm sure maybe in the next few days or weeks I will as well explore iRacing is, uh, is the second uh, big big platform of, of uh, yeah racing on 
on a, on a simulator. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, R-Factor actually uh, has a Formula E mod in there, so you can maybe get some taste of, uh, of reality, if that makes sense uh, <laughs> for you. Just super, I think it's amazing that people at home can experience so much. I mean, yes, okay, I, I mentioned I raced, but I raced at like one local track. Meanwhile, I, I've got a poster just behind the camera I'm looking at that shows all the tracks of the world. And every time I look at them, I say, oh, I've driven that in sim. I've driven there. Oh, that car is great. That, you know, I've never been there in real life, but I can have that experience. I mean, how cool is that to get, you know, a connection with the fans that they can do that as well? It's fantastic. And, you know, it's as well one, I think, big strength of, of Formula E that there is this great connection with the fans that you have, uh, you know, tools like the Fan Boost and uh, just this interaction on, on social media with, with the fans, which I believe is really important. And now to have this other opportunity with racing with them, against them, for them to watch us, uh, it's just, uh, you know, so so cool and such a great opportunity for, for I think, everybody. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. I think it's fantastic. And I, I think this is... It's a tough time, but it's a great opportunity for sim racing to showcase itself and to get people involved. And I, I don't know, what would be what would you be your first piece of advice to someone who's going to start sim racing? Um, it's 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 a good question, and maybe uh, you can give me more advice on, on <laughs> sim racing than I can I can give to anyone. But um, no, I mean at, at the end, it's it's uh, for sure you need to adapt to it. It's a it's a different feeling compared to to racing a, a real car to to drive a real car and um yeah i think a lot is about about just you know practicing exploring getting a feeling for the grip level of of each different car of uh, how the brakes work um and yeah just how to drive every car individually i think there is not one golden rule now to to point out and um something i can say is it's it's uh, really close um in, in in many areas to to what we're doing in the real car so um yeah i'm i'm really enjoying it Fantastic. What else have you been doing while you're sitting at home? TV? Bunch of movies? Uh, Netflix and chill? So far not. I think I'm, I'm prepared for it. So it's all, all set up at home uh, for, for this case. But um, yeah, I used my time so far now after Marrakesh, after our last race, you know, with many um, conversations with the team, with uh, meetings, you know, Skype meetings, uh, um, kind of conference calls just to you know, keep ourselves, um, yeah, focusing on the important things. How to develop ourselves. How to how to, um, um, yeah, improve the whole package. Because even though we're not racing, it doesn't mean that everything is is stopped in the background. And um, yeah, we, we try to use the time in the best possible way. But as you mentioned, I think at one point there will come the moment that I'm not in my small simulator and uh, just on on a sofa. And uh, yeah, watching TV, Netflix, or whatever. Yeah. At least we have the technology. This could have been much worse. You know, I, I say this like it's a bad thing, but I might have had to read a book. Otherwise, at least I can game. All the gaming platforms are just absolutely maxed out right now. So at least we have yeah. this world. Uh, maybe it's a bad thing. Maybe we're going to get addicted to it. But it's uh, it's it's refreshing in some ways to see sim racing get so much craze. Uh, listen, Max, thanks so much. I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you got to practice. What's the goal this week? Who, who are you trying to beat? Where are you hoping to finish? I just saw that the starting list. So again, very good, very good drivers. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying, on the one hand, now to prepare myself a lot better than than last week. So um, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's, it, it will be super tight. Of course, the the professional gamers, it's really insane what they are, what they are able to do, what what you're able to do, basically. It's, not uh, me. I'm, I'm not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a professional what you're doing. <laughs> um, no, so at, at the end, you know, it's uh, of course it's a competition, as well. It's 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 fun for all of us, and um, yeah, I think to to set now one specific goal will be difficult. But I think if I say I want to do as many laps on Saturday, which means more races, which means final race um then uh, you know what my target uh, is in a way so right. um yeah look look forward to the competition uh perfect thanks so much max and don't forget you guys can check that out it's going to be another the race all-star esports battle you can check the description down below thanks again max best of luck and hey uh i know we don't really know what's going on right now in in the racing world but i hope the season gets back underway and best of luck fourth is a good position think there's any chance you can improve on that before the end of the formula e year uh, of course. I mean, uh, if there will be more races, then uh, I'm massively looking forward and, of course, pushing for, for good results because uh, fourth is not, not the position you, you want to finish a season.
Yeah. Fair, well, hey, fair enough. I, fourth seems pretty good on paper, but you're the driver, and I love that your competitive spirit says you got to do better. So hopefully you do. Thanks so much. We'll see everyone this weekend. Don't forget to check it out. Check down below. Thanks.